Hey, it's Dale again, and uh, in this third tutorial, we're now going to turn our broadcast script into a web version of the script, and I'm going to show you how to use Tumblr really quickly. Um, one thing I will mention, if you've looked at this script, you know there's not a ton of detail in here. I kind of focused on, you know, I set the scene, and then I introduce uh, Rambo the dog, who's kind of the star of the show for the second half of the package. Um, you see, I don't have a ton of like hard details that I can turn into a web story. So this one's going to be a little bit more challenging. I'm going to have to probably go back to my notes and rework this. So, um, you know, what I can do is I can copy and paste this into my, into a, another script and then start rewriting it from there. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that and, uh, I'm going to work in this, uh, let's see, let's open up a new one. And I'm going to copy and paste here. Now, remember, we're not going to be doing this because that's shovelware. But I want it there just so I can see um, everything of what's going on. So um, if I'm writing an inverted pyramid style lead for this story, the who, what, when, where, why is that um, four, four uh, pet rescue groups or animal rescue groups came together on Valentine's Day. Uh, where was in New Braunfels to hold a pet adoption day um, to find forever homes for more than, um, I think they said they had three dozen pets there. So um, here we go. So uh, four animal rescue groups came together Saturday to uh, pet adoption event at the uh, PetSmart in New Braunfels um, to find forever homes for more than three dozen animals. Okay, so one, one sentence, inverted pyramid style lead. Um, you can see that I don't have a... Uh, you know, when we work into this package here, I'm setting up McKenzie Martin, stuff like that, that I don't really need. Um, I don't really need. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I've kind of already got that line in. This is the quote I want to use. Um, so I know two of the groups, uh, groups like ARF and Texas Animal guardians um, brought everything from short haired terriers to chihuahuas to uh, pit bulls and kittens to the event um, booths were set up outside so potential Adopters um, could play with the animals in the shade. So now I've worked my way into this uh, bite here. Uh, remember, proper quote style. So these events are the best places to understand the temperament of these dogs. Um, proper quote style right here said Selena Feely, a volunteer with Texas Animal Guardians. When you go into shelters and rescues and things like that, they're fighting for attention and loud um, it's a stressful environment, um, not just for the, uh, let's see, not just for the people coming to see the pet, but for the pets themselves. Okay, so proper quote style, I'm good to go there. Um, Several of the animals found their forever homes 
uh, Saturday, um, including a, uh, let's see, I always misspell Dachshund, Dachshund, I got it right on the right time, including a Dachshund and a uh, lab mix, um, so I can just go ahead and do that. Um, animal rescue groups typically uh, hold one to three events per month at PetSmart. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go back to Feely said, um, to get in front of people as much as possible. Okay, so I've reworked this some. Um, you have to remember, like I said, you know, this kind of stuff doesn't really translate to a print tile story. Um, so I can just go ahead and get rid of that. And so here we have our print style story. It's a little bit shorter. It's obviously a lot shorter than my, um, than my broadcast version, but it's complete. It makes sense. Um, it's written with proper style, proper quote style. It's got a proper inverted pyramid lead. So I think we're good to go. Um, one thing I want to show you. So once you log into Tumblr, um, disregard my personal blog, Remember, if you've already, if you've signed into Tumblr and this is the only blog you follow or the, the only blog that you're a part of, this is going to, sh our blog is going to show up right here. If you have other blogs that you're a part of on Tumblr, so if you already have a Tumblr account, you're going to have to click this little drop down menu and it's going to open up all the blogs that you're a part of. So I'm just going to click on one of these. I don't really care which one. And now I'm in the dashboard for this particular blog. It's my Monday, Wednesday class. Um, but you'll only have access to the one that I sent you the invite for. So when I want to go in here and make a, a post, I'm going to click on that right there. I'm going to insert um, a title, pet adoption event. Let's see. Draws big crowd. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to put my name by Dale Blassingham. And now I'm going to, I don't know why that's copy and pasting strangely. Uh, let's see. Okay. That's da, da, da. okay. So, oops. Okay. That is acting very strangely. Let me see. Stand by. Don't want to keep reading. It's good. Uh, want to style your text? Just select it. Okay. So let me. Don't know why it's doing that as an image. That makes no sense. So it's good that you're seeing there are problems. I guess to text edit and get rid of all the smart uh, text that's associated with this on Microsoft Word. And there we go. Now we're good. So again, if that ever happens to you, open up a text document, copy and paste so you can scrape out all of the um, rich text that's associated with uh, typing in Microsoft Word. Um, don't forget to put your name here. That's really important. Um, you know, just put a regular headline, put your name, copy your script. Now, if you remember, I need one picture and I need one link. So right here, um, Texas Animal Guardians is the organization that talked to us or talked to me. So I'm going to highlight Texas Animal Guardians and I'm going to click on this little icon right here that says link and done. So now you can see it's underlined. That means it's linking to it. And now the only other thing I have to do is I have to insert an image, which, um, man, Tumblr just redesigned. This is quite strange. Uh, da, 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 da. now I have to figure out where they've moved putting in an image. That's interesting. 
This is a very new uh, redesign. Uh, okay, I see. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and post this. So you can see what it looks like, and that's very disturbing. So now I'm, I can always go back in and edit. Wait, there's more. Click the plus sign. Okay, there we go. So whenever you need to insert images or something like that, you click the plus sign. Um, I've got this adoption. So I'm going to now go in and find an image. There is one image that I liked in particular, that one. So I'm going to put that in, and now I'm going to post now, and we should be good to go. Okay. So now let's uh, close out of this. Nope. I want to save first. Sorry about that. So now if I go to the 3306 blog, you see pet adoption event draws a big crowd. My name, got my lead, um, the image here. You can put the image anywhere. So you can put it maybe at the beginning. I probably should change that. So let me go in here and edit this. And I can actually just drag and drop the image like that. Hit save again. And now let's go back to the blog. There you go, and that looks a little bit better. Okay, so it's really simple to get your web story up. Sometimes you will have to do a little bit of rewriting like I did here, but you're already super familiar with this story. Um, and yours probably won't be as people focused as the broadcast version was that I wrote. Um, so uh, just keep that in mind that your prints, your web story does need to have that print style feel to it. Um, you can see how long it took to rewrite that. It only took me about five minutes. So I'm not asking for a, a ton here, but I do want you to go through the effort of rewriting that story and making it make sense on the web.